Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back with another video for you all. Today we're going to make these simple and easy watercolor flowers using just two colors. Before we begin, please do like my video, it means a lot. Let me quickly take you through my supplies, watercolor palette, two cups of water, tissue paper and I'm using a 0.3 round brush and a pencil. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to know when I upload any new videos. Before I start, I am making a rough sketch which flows from left to right. It works as a great map to paint over. I am just making a big circle followed by a few smaller circles and also adding a few leaves here and there. I feel it's important that we keep the pencil very light and you don't press it too hard on the paper so that it doesn't seep through. Then the colour is painted over it. I'm using deep blue colour. I'm not going to be using any other colour for the flowers. Just adding a bit of water to the colour that I've taken. And I will continue adding water till I feel there is a little bit of tinge to that but it's not a lot of color and then I'll go on adding I'm making a tiny circle in the middle of the flower and that circle I'm going to add a little bit more of color so that it shows and then followed by small semicircles. and I'm going to continue this for the entire flower going little tiny semicircles. and I continue making those semicircles till I come to the edge of the sketch. You can see you can keep adding a little bit of water and add a little bit of color. Make sure it's not too dark. But for the middle, I, I prefer that it's darker than the rest of the flower because it adds a lot of depth to the petals. This is another technique, just in stippling form I'm adding dot in the middle and this one goes from thin to thick. Press your brush against the paper and go in thin to thick and then covering the entire flower like that. This one is very similar to the cherry blossom technique that I had tried the color is blue. You can have the same technique. This is called wet on wet technique. So if the once the flower is a bit wet, you can add a little bit dark color that sort of spreads through and it looks really beautiful. And this one I am using the same technique that I used on the first flower, just making small semicircle as I go and I'm not adding, I've started to add a little bit of color already have a base which is very light and now as you add color it's going to add a bit of dimension to your flowers which looks really great and as you go keep using the same technique going in semicircles try not to fill the flower too much I like using the, the paper as negative space without instead of using white color black to color blue and I'm going to continue using the same color that I have made for all the leaves that I have and adding a bit of blue. I don't want to add too much black. I don't want the leaves to become black. And this kind of works really well. Adds a bit of contrast to the whole painting that you're making. 
and keep adding, keep filling, and if you feel the spaces in between where you could add another flower, go ahead and add it. Don't leave too much negative space or too much blank space in the middle of the painting. It's better to fill it with a flower or leaf or smaller flowers. Go back into my blue and add a little bit of that and a bit of water that sort of gives a nice gradient to the leaves from going from dark to light and connect all the dots and you can try a variation in sizes you don't have to have one single size you can try small leaves medium sized leaves or large leaves like the one on the left Watercolor is really easy to work with and also has a mind of its own because you don't have too much freedom when you're working with watercolor. So just go along, add a bit of water and add one layer and then second layer and then add a few more layers. It works really well this way. That's just my personal opinion. I feel it gives me more freedom. paper because as you go you feel that there's some areas where you could add an extra leaf or you could add another flower just go ahead and do it don't think too much So this stroke goes from thin to thick and then thin again. see that I'm not covering the entire flower again. Just a little bit 
here and there so that there is a bit of light color and then there's a bit of dark color and you go again in semicircles and go and make the petals. Just adding a little more detail to the leaves that I have here. Just to line it to kind of gives it a feeling of being a leaf. I can totally skip this but I want to so I went ahead and did it and just a few more you can see because the color is light I am able to add more dark colors so that's the whole point for going from light to dark that's it guys I hope you like my video and please do come back thank you so much for watching my video I will be back soon. Bye-bye.